I look younger. I do not hairstyle at all. Um, so I'm going to be wearing lots of hats. You know, you say, well, let's try something different. And we try it. And I'm like, oh, really, if I take the hat off, I look pretty. My sister has been clowning me all day. She's like, uh, I look like, well, I said it first. And she just kind of ran with it, um, that I look like a, a young boy in a boy band. And so I the only way to remedy it is definitely going to be to wear hats for the next uh, <laughs> for the next two weeks because I don't want to spend money on hair and then take it right out. But if I had that kind of money, I would be. It'll be fun. It works well with the topics that we're talking about uh, because we are creatives, and one of the things that you will find about creative people is that they're consistent constantly changing their hair uh, and they're changing how they look so you guys Periscope knows Facebook is just getting used to me because um, I haven't been doing Facebook lives but y'all know constantly let me fix this part here constantly changing my hair so um, that's just part of the creative nature we just get bored easily uh, with things so today for pitfalls of creatives as well as prophetic people. Obviously, we're getting ready for our creatives conference, Creator, and today was the last day for early registration. We're going to until tomorrow night, midnight, but we want all our worshipers, our creatives, to make sure that they take advantage of early registration before we go into um, regular registration starting on Wednesday. So, um, I wanted to share about that, but let's jump right in. The folks on Periscope are here ready. The face, the, the people on Facebook are coming in slowly, and, and that's fine. So, touch on four areas psychologically, which I absolutely love to teach on um, when it comes to dealing with people that have creative minds. Um, and one of the things that I said earlier that you will find that prophetics and creatives what about the admin course it was supposed to end tomorrow that ends tonight midnight i'm gonna throw that in someone's asking about the ministry administration course the early registration was supposed to end on the 15th uh, which is today and it actually ended on the 15th at midnight and so we had to go in there and just shift it so that it ends tonight at exactly the 16th so for those who are taking the ministry administration course you have three hours if you're on the East Coast and maybe six hours if you're on the West Coast. In other countries, you may have online, but you can email us uh, for that, for the Ministry Admin course. All right, so let's jump right in. So I was talking about the creative realm being very simil similar to the prophetic realm. And the reason for that is the same ability that, that God used in terms of creating even the earth. He spoke it and there it was. And if you look at the diversity of plants, and you look at the diversity of colors and look at the diversity of animals, if you look at how our bodies are made, all of it speaks to the creative genius of God. And so God saw it and he said it was good. He spoke it and it was good. And so when we look at creation and we look at how God does things, everything about it is in the creative realm, but it's also in the prophetic is bringing what is in um, heaven and bringing it on earth. So part of the prophetic is to see, hear, sense what is happening in the spirit realm, especially the prophetic, which brings the future into the present and, and call it and cause it to come and manifest in the earth realm. So you will find, uh, you will find that a lot of people, tell me about my shirt. You will find that a lot of people um, who are, um, very creative are also very prophetic. As a matter of fact, it I don't know many creatives that are not prophetic. I know that they're prophetic because they don't understand how their they, their giftings connect. Now you could let me let me not say that you could sing right and not necessarily be a creative. When I talk about the word, I'm talking about people who actually make things, people who actually create things. So you could be a singer or you could be a songwriter. If you're more in the songwriter, you're creative in that you're you make the songs. Now singing is also creative in that um you know you do different things with your voice and you create um the atmosphere in which people you know are grasped by the your words. But when I the prophetic realm and the creative realm, I'm talking about the ability to create something that is not there and cause it to manifest. So that that's people like sculpture, people who um who uh, 
doctors, people who definitely write poems, people who cook, people who decorate their house very well. They're able to take concepts. Sometimes they see them, sometimes they hear them, and then they come into fruition. Obviously, musicians that write, you know, masterpieces. I was like in heaven this past weekend. One of our church members got married, and they had like a professional Dr. So-and-so, you could tell he's been teaching piano like on college level for years. And the man did not miss one note. And he was playing like the canon in D and uh, I mean, I'm songs that you absolutely love that you want to hear at the we at weddings. And it was so, so, so beautiful. So there's this creative part that's connected to the prophetic part. So you're going to see similar struggles between people prophetic that prophesy uh, and people that are creatives and the Lord is using them to use their art to create. And you guys heard me say things like singing, like, uh, I mean, like cooking and how you dress is an art. It's an art. It's an expression of who God is. I started this uh, Periscope Facebook live with how I change my hair all the time. And this one I felt like was a flop, but genuinely ourselves and truly who we are right? What we're going to be is confident in our, our expression of who we are. So one of the biggest pitfalls of prophetic people as creatives is their struggle with their personality, their struggle with their personality. Because the Lord has wired them to think differently, oftentimes they're going to feel left out when they're ahead of time. There are going to be times when they just see things differently. They look at objects. They may look at them in an abstract way when others think are looking at them in a more linear way or concrete. Um, they may think more than they speak. Uh, they may be more uh, articulate than quiet. There's so many different things about prophetics and creatives that to that realm and the first area that the enemy is going to attack you in is your personality he's going to make you want to believe that something is actually wrong with how with how you dress with how you sing with how you write with how you dance whatever that realm of the prophetic is and the enemy he attacks your personality through rejection so the prophetics as well as creatives are going to experience is rejection. They're going to experience the enemy, maybe using other people or them believing lies from the enemy. They are not gifted. Not only are they gifted, but that their gifting makes them feel, um, is um, making them feel, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Ostracized. It's making them feel unaccepted. It makes them weird and not normal. So what the enemy wants to do early on with a creative or a prophetic person is that he wants to shut that realm down so that you are not open to it and you're not growing into it because the enemy knows that when you are your truest you and you're fully walking in confidence in your personality, then the glory of God is the glory of God is not made manifest through us being somebody else or us mimicking anybody else. The glory of God is most made manifest when we uh, allow God to in how we are. So when you're dealing with creatives and the prophetic people and you're struggling with rejection, it's also going to attack your relationships. And this is stuff that you got to get healed from early early, early on, because what the enemy is going to try to do is say, no one understands you. You're so weird. No one's going to get you. You know, I don't know. You know, and then you start saying, God, I just want to be normal. I don't know why people start isolating yourself. The moment you start isolating yourself, you begin to open up a door to depression. So a lot of times people say, oh, creatives and prophetic people are moody and they're emotional. They are, but we shouldn't be. If you are, your spirit is submitted to the Holy Spirit and you have learned who you are in the Lord and you are growing in the fullness of your identity in God, then your emotions should not be led by what people are saying. Your emotions should not be led by your experiences with other people. They should be led by the fact that you are in God, that you are confident in who he is and that you and so the first pitfall that a prophetic and a creative has to do with is their issue with their personality. They need to choose who they're going to be. And they need to decide, am I going to be who you want me to be or who I think is acceptable, right? Or am I going to be who God has made me to be and, and, and walk in the fullness of that? Now, well, I always want to leave little caveats when I say this. 
it's important to understand sometimes we say well i'm just gonna be whoever and i'm just gonna do whatever i want to do but the problem is it, our personalities are flawed and until we come into the of who God is and we go through healing and we go get into community that is healthy we're gonna have personality issues that need to be dealt with and I'm gonna hit some of those but we have to make sure to understand that the core of who we are is because God says we are those things and not necessarily something that we're trying to prove or something that we're trying to do all right so the next thing with uh, a pitfall that I see all the time with prophetics and with uh, creative people is the issue of perfectionism. And the issue of perfectionism comes, one, because we love our craft, we do, we love what we're developing, but also when your gift is submitted to the wrong people, you're going to struggle with perfectionism. What does that mean? Our gift should be submitted. And when we understand that God gave us these gifts, he's giving us grace to grow in them, he's giving us grace to be perfected in them, then we will not worry so much about what people uh, who applauded, who didn't, who came and saw our art, who didn't, because we have submitted our gifting to God. We have not submitted our gifting to people. I was uh, sharing with my church on Sunday at quote about worship uh francis chan said it's so dumb if you leave a church and you say oh that worship was horrible i don't you know i'm not going back there because the worship was horrible well the worship was up for you for god and it's the same thing with your gifts it's the same with thing with your creative anointing it's not for you it's for the lord and so one of the things that the lord requires when he's perfect as an artist or a prophetic person is that you learn how to submit your gift to him and also leave room for him so as prophetics you want to be perfect you want the song to you know if you're decorating for an event perfectly or if you are you know sculpting something you want to be perfect but if you do it perfectly where is the room for the holy spirit our job is to I give it my best effort. I'm going to do it with my strength. And then wherever I fall short, I'm going to leave room. There's no room for miracles if everything is perfect. Some of you guys struggle in other areas, and you will see that you don't see the supernatural in your life because really perfectionism is an issue with control. You want to control it. You want to make sure it's done how you or how you're feeling it, and that's great, and it's good, but where is room for the Holy Spirit? Where is God going to be able to come in? And so what we've also seen with the struggle of perfectionism for artists and creators, they have a hard time working with teens, right? Because if you feel like it has to be done a particular way or see it a particular way and the, the rest of the team doesn't, then it's really hard for you guys to work so it's a pitfall that the enemy, it's a lie that he releases to prophetics and even creatives that you need to make sure that you do it correctly. And I'll specifically say creatives because most of people have a streak of either, either sanguine personality or melancholy personality. And I'm going into my temperament talk again. Uh, I shared about it when I did the, uh, the um live and periscope on ministry but it's so important that you know your temperament so melancholy people are very detail oriented they're thinkers they're feelers they're sensors and they're perfectionists and to be very creative you have sanguines who is me very talkative bubbly center of attention they love bright colors they're outgoing they can't remember where anything is at they're a little bit disorganized counselors are great teachers that's a sanguine personality so it is your job to understand how the lord has made you how he has created your temperament so that you know that when you're operating and it's in an area of weakness you can ask people around you to help you there is no such thing in the kingdom as doing things as a loner but perfectionism will have you it will say to you you know what you if they can't do it it's better that you just do it you do it yourself and get it done. And so that is one of the pitfalls that the enemy really comes after. We have to give ourselves grace. We have to give ourselves grace. All right, what's, what else did I write here? Patience. Patience is another one that I see. Now, depending on your style, people that are melancholic in their temperament, they can wait forever to do something. And they can work on a project forever because, once again, they're waiting for it to be perfect. 
issue with people that are uh, melancholic. And once again, we can give you the temperament assessment. We had people emailing us. We're not just going to give it to you. We're going to ask that you sign up for a consultation so that when you take it, we can bring personality down to you and you know match it with the purpose and all that stuff. So if people are going to be emailing us for that, that's how it works. Our temperament assessments are part of uh, helping people discover their purpose. Uh, identity. We also do it when we're doing marital counseling to help couples understand each other. So if you're going to email us for that, that's how that works. So when God is dealing with patients, for those that are melancholic, it's not really an issue of patience in that they can't wait. It's that they take too long. So you will have creatives and thinkers who take forever to make a step, to step up because they feel like it has to be perfect and they have it all together before they do what they need to do. And so you will have this realm of artists that, and it's okay to a certain extent, because Avatar, which I never saw, but it took 12 years for them to make it. And so there was a level of perfectionism and a level of details. But I was thinking about Martin Luther King. Okay, and I was saying, you know, people who make impact on earth are not necessarily people who leave the lo who live the longest. They are the people who speak up at the right time. So Martin Luther King nine, but he understood the window of opportunity that he had to speak up. If he had waited to say, well, let me understand this better, get more information, whatever, whatever, he may have been dead before he released. And so one of the issues that artists and, and prophetic people have to deal with is making sure that they do not wait too long in releasing whatever they're creating, that they miss a window of opportunity, but they don't do it at all. And people that struggle with perfectionism start to struggle with faith, okay? Because people that struggle with perfectionism want to make sure that they understand everything from point A to Z how it's going to happen. So they, when I coach people like this in the prophetic, they usually have a hard time stepping out, uh, even prophesying or singing or teaching or starting their whatever it is because they feel like it has to be perfect. So their issue is not necessarily they're not patient, but they take too long. Then you have the other end of the um, sanguine, and I'm going to teach on this at our career conference. Um, personality types and all that. The sanguine personality where we are more like, okay, we got it. We see it. We feel it, right? Let's do it. Whereas the Lord is like, I know that you see it, feel it, but it's not necessarily the right time to do it. And so it's a matter of learning how to wait out the things that the Lord has to develop in you. I can say truly that that is one area that I've seen developing from when I was really young and immature in ministry and even you know as a prophetic person where I would get information this happens all the time I coach people out of that they've gotten in the men because they heard the voice of the Lord oh God said to start a business so I quit my job next you know the first week no did you get clarity concerning is it a year from now or two years from you know, God told me that I was going to be a millionaire and it's been six months of me, you know, here in New York and nothing is happening. Well, you haven't been there long enough. And so there's a pitfall of patience where we wait too long or we don't know how to wait long enough. Another pitfall is dealing with the prophetic. So people that are creatives, people that are naturally prophetic, you're will play a lot of games or tricks on you until you learn how to separate your voice from God's voice and from the enemy's voice. So a lot of times as you're getting dreams, you're getting vision, information, you're seeing, you know, you're hearing songs, you're seeing cookbooks, you're seeing dances, you're, you're seeing all this stuff. And part of what a prophetic person and a creative person has to do is learn how to shut the door. Learn how to shut that realm out. People don't understand that you can actually say, Holy Spirit, um, I'm being flooded right now. I've had enough information. I'm shutting this door, I'm going to rest, and I'm going to jump back to this. So what I see is a lot of people hear so much, and they expect a lot of it to be happening right now, or because they feel it, they feel moving in that moment and then when God doesn't they feel like they're crazy they don't feel like they're hearing God and that's why prophetics and creative people need to be in community they need to be around other prophetic people I always say prophets need to be properly positioned and I'll teach more on this when we're getting ready to uh, launch our school of the prophets in August however you, it's the same thing with creative people 
This is one thing. Creative people shouldn't be by themselves because it, unless they, there's multiple levels of maturity or there's um, different personalities, because if all of them get together, complain they will murmur they're highly critical and it could be because they're highly discerning and this is prophetic people too they will murmur they will complain if they're immature they'll be high they will fill the walls let's give an example of, of like a creative team at church right they'll be able to pick up everything that's wrong they don't know how to fix it nobody can cheer each other up all feeling the weight of the world what are we going to do so it is important that creatives yes have a community of other creators same with prophetic people but also that they are other around other believers especially stable people and this is a marriage tip most of the times the lord will connect people that are highly creative or highly prophetic with people that are a little bit more grounded logic a little bit more straightforward because he's trying to pull you down to earth and you help pull them up to the heavenlies and to this wonderful world of creativity that you so it's really really important the last thing i want to touch on is mental illness which is connected a lot to the prophetic because creatives and prophetic people are highly sensitive and they set up what happens is People end up being diagnosed with things like depression or bipolar because what they have not been able to discern. Someone said, I think I need a email us info at askdrfaith.com. We'll help you through all this stuff. They have not been able to discern when it is them or the Holy Spirit or the enemy. And on every emotion they take on everything the sense and give me a second I gotta plug in my phone um, let me plug in my phone here before I lose all the folks on It'll be good all right so they take it on as their own emotions and then they end up not being able to really separate and so then you end up being extremely anxious or extremely worried so part of the battle for creatives is learning how to understand the battle of your mind and learning who you're warring with learning how to take authority over your emotions learning how to take authority over your spirit and bring it into submission all right so i'm going to take some questions i know people had already started uh asking questions do you have a sliding scale for you to do this month um it, it, it depends on the situation when i hear you know different if i hear your story and all that then we're led by the holy spirit it is a business but we also are in the ministry uh, of helping people so there are some times uh where we will um do a sliding scale this month we have slashed all my prices so um what we're february and march we're not charging this month so this would be a great month to take um uh, take the opportunity to invest in your counsel, in your coaching, and in your healing. I'll take any questions on the prophetic, creative, ministry class. So tonight, as like I said, we are uh, the ministry administration class is closing for early registration. How can you know your exact sure? There are assessments that you can take, and then you want.